Good evening. I'm G. Trulia, the president of TST, and I have with me, Ed Hazard, Adam Varney, and our vice president, Pierre Rispo. Tonight, as we've done with other scan tool shootouts, this is basically to help you technicians out there decide what tool is the tool you may want to purchase. Our sponsor for tonight is AES, AESWave.com. Uh, this is real important. This is our disclaimer. This was not a staged event where ASE, mostly master certified techs with L1 and then some, a couple of instructors. We report only what happens in the real world. Tools may not work as designed, meaning they may say they do something, but in the real world they did not do that. If the tool is not plug and play, this decreases its overall usefulness. No manuals were read as they're not in the real world or in your shop. I've done training for years and seen people never ever take manuals out. So that's how we do this webcast because we know when you get a tool, you're basically just going to put it on and do it. No tool company pays for this webcast, affects its results, or chooses the vehicle. The vehicle is from a used car lot up the street, and report, we report what we find as accurately as we can. And I'd like to add to that that you could get, or we could get completely different results on a different model of the same make or a different year, same model. It's compared on a 2005 Nissan Quest, this was a 3.5, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and we're standing right next to this vehicle. Um, number of modules, auto scan or health check, bi-directional, number of PIDs supported, ability to graph PIDs, ability to save info and screenshots, ability to print info and screenshots, programming, adaptations and relearn, and ability to read all DTCs. I want you to look at this and understand that when we tell you number of modules, some of these manufacturers gave you that information differently, right? So when you right. see the numbers changing, hey, it's only what we've seen on the tool. Auto scan or health check, yes it did that, it checked multiple modules. Bi-directional control, it did that quite well. Number of PIDs supported, 63. Now we must say, this was in the engine PCM. It does other modules, obviously. Ability to graph, yes, and you can compare the PIDs. Ability to save, yes. Ability to print, yes. Of course it does program, and it's the factory tool, and same with adaptations and relearns. And it found all the DTCs, and we compared this. This was our baseline, right, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. This right. was our foundation to check the other tools. Next tech, common scan. The common scan light, 7 plus 19 BCM modules. It does a health check. Bidirectional control, yes. Number of PIDs, 74. Ability to graph, it does. Ability to save, yes. No printing that we know of. Programming, no. Adaptations and relearn, yes. And did not read all the codes properly. It read airbag, uh, no, the tire code and not the airbag code. Uh, it took quite a long time to scan. It was, it was slower. Autoland Scientech, the eye scan, uh, 21 plus 1 BCM. It did a little different. Uh, didn't have an auto scan health check. Uh, Bi-directional control, yeah, quite good at this. Number of PIDs, 84. Ability to graph PIDs, yes. Only one at a time currently. Ability to save the info and screenshots, yes. Ability to print screenshots no programming no adaptations and relearn yes and did read all the DTCs properly any yeah, comments on this I think it's a nice looking tool yeah, yeah that's yeah. very, very impressive it's really sharp the, the contrast is sharp how about the time to connect in it took what five minutes to it, it was it was also fairly slow uh, the, the Vetus was uh, it was also on the slow side to get in and it told you that. It warned you on the screen about five minutes, but it did. Right, right. OTC. The Pegasus here did seven modules, but there are some sub-modules in there, but it did seven. Auto uh, health check, yes. Bi-directional control, yes. 
Number of PIDs supported, 90. Ability to graph PIDs, yes, and compare PIDs. It did that quite well. Ability to save uh, screenshots and info, yes. Ability to print, yes. Programming, yes. Adaptation relearns, yes. And memory can be right on the internet on this tool. Does mode 6 real good? And it also has a dead effects and pathfinder, and it read all the DTCs correctly. Now, what did we notice about this tool? This fast. tool was very fast. Very fast. Very fast. Very, and very easy, good. Very easy to use, actually, also. Uh, SPX, the Auto Boss. Six modules, no auto scan or health check. Bi-directional control, it did it. Number of PIDs, 80. Ability to graph, yes. Ability to save screenshots, ability to print, bulk yes is there. No programming, adaptations, yes, did not read all the DTCs. What did we notice about this? Comments on this? Um, it was actually uh, pretty fast. Snap-on did a very nice job here with eight modules, no health check, okay. Um, Bi-directional controls, it did it, 98 PIDs. Ability to graph, yes. Ability for screenshots and printing, yes and yes. No programming. It does adaptations and relearn, and it did not read all the DTCs correctly. And uh, could you describe what about the Mode 6 that was better? The, mo the Mode 6 on this one um, gave you a whole bunch of TIDs or PIDs that, uh, or SIDs that were just hexadecimal name rather than say an oxygen sensor or whatever but once you clicked on it it did decode most of them there were a few that were not give you the description of what the TID was right but here's the big difference between OTC and and this tool there are only three tools currently on the market that read um, mode 6 continuously one is automotive test solution ATS the first tool that ever did it was ease Ease Diagnostics, and the third tool is OTC. Okay, launch. The X431 or the die gun. We use the die gun on this one. See the tool on the table. It is a wireless Bluetooth type of device, but that doesn't mean you're on the internet with it. It did six modules plus 19 BCM subs. No auto scan health check. Bi-directional control, quite good. Number of PIDs, 77. Ability to graph, yes, plus compare. Ability to save info, ability to print and save the screenshots, yes and yes, no programming. Adaptations and relearns, yes. It did not read all the DTCs correctly. Auto Ingenuity, number of modules five, and we should say both of these mobile techs have Auto Ingenuity, besides here in the ATTS training center. Five modules it did, auto scan, health check, it did that, bi-directional control. It said it had it, we put it up, we have screenshots of it, but it did not work. Okay, we're just telling you. Guys, your comments on that? Yeah, it was, we tried it a couple of times, rebooted the computer. Three, three different times we tried it, couldn't get it to work. And we well, even tried again, it on another vehicle. Again, again, it might have been just this one vehicle. But now, did it work on the other vehicle? You guys went out when we were working on it. Yeah, it, it worked, on, worked on my van. It was a little slow and it took a little while for the data to come up. I think it should be said that in our last webcast on Volkswagen, it worked very well. The bi-directionals worked. So this is, as far as we know, a functioning tool. For whatever reason tonight, it did not function as intended. It did not come up with the codes. You probably want to just go back to that real quick, Craig. Um, you know, the screenshots, normally you can do all this camp program. You can usually do some relearns and stuff on it. And, of course, it couldn't read the DTCs. We don't know why it didn't like this particular vehicle. We thought it was going to do great. Again, like I said, the three of us here... I've used this tool many a times, usually does a good job, but we can only tell you what we found tonight. That's why it's, it's good to have access to multiples, whether you buy them yourself or you have some kind of a sharing agreement with other shops. And how would you rate, Pierre, and then we'll go down the line with Adam and then uh, Ed and myself, how would you rate the tools we use tonight from the factory tool, everything based um, off that, I would, tools we use? For ease of use... I would think that the OTC probably won this one. I'd have to say that the Autoland Scientech tool seemed pretty cool. 
the Pegasus did an outstanding job. It was fast. It was easy to navigate. Uh, the Snap-on, I thought, was fairly easy to use as well. I use it quite a bit. Um, and the uh, Scientific, the Autoland Scientific. 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 Yeah. yeah. Just a play on words, but yeah, you know, that that was a very very impressive tool. Uh, the OTC, in my opinion, in this particular shootout, definitely was a strong first place. Um, competitors there, the Autoland Scientific. Auto Boss was surprisingly good, as well as Snap On. Uh, Launch did a real nice job. Common Scan, boy, that thing is. It's a little tool, but it seems to work. Even though it was slow getting in there, but once it gets in, it gives you the ability to get those bi-directional controls done. I've got to say one thing about the Snap-on. Snap-on did a good job here. Get rid of those keys. If you like what we do, we like your comments, please email us or whatever. We do our best to help technicians. Remember, we're an organization that is about helping technicians. We're a non-for-profit 501c3. We have coming up June the 9th on a simulcast. This webcast will be diesel, um, how to make some money with light duty diesel cars and light duty truck. Tony Martin is an instructor at the University of Alaska. He is also a contributor writer for Motor Age magazine. Perhaps you read his good stuff on diesel. We have a half price rather than $60, $30 to come online. You could download our newsletter and you could download the handout. Uh, the TSP seminar webex.com, this is free. We will have uh, myself, G. Trulia, Peter um, Meyer, and of course my buddy Dave Hobbs will be coming out on this one. Of course we're also doing some, some stuff here with Delphi. So don't miss this, we'll talk about 1234YF, we'll talk about the correct practices of checking uh, refrigerant for sealant, for contaminations. We'll be using a lot of different tools. It's absolutely free. Check that out. That is Thursday, May the 26th, 8 p.m. live Eastern Standard Time if you want to ask us questions. And of course, it'll be on our web uh, site as well. And the last thing here, this is my training center, ATTS. We're located here in Mayapack, New York. We do training programs now for 14 states, one province, and stuff for the EPA. So if you're interested in any type of classes, come out. And again, I'd like to thank Pierre, who is our Vice President of TST, um, Adam Varney here, one of our associates and a mobile tech, and Ed Hazard, one of our associates and another mobile tech, and of course, behind the camera, as always, my son, Craig Trulia, who uh, is always doing these things one way or another because we kind of browbeat him into doing it. But anyway, I want to thank most of all you for watching these webcasts, and hopefully you got some valuable information, because that really is our goal. Thank you, and good night.